This is Bottles, and welcome to another uh, video during what I have deemed quarantine month. Uh, these video, this video series will be chronicling uh, me attempting to speedrun Super Punch Out. Now, here's the thing: I am not a, spe a serious speedrunner. I don't speedrun. I don't plan on speedrunning. Uh, except for certain games, and that certain game is this. I'm not trying to get on any leaderboards or anything. I just want to see how much of the limit I can push to play this game. So, uh, without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're gonna start in 3, 2, 1, go. <clears throat> Alright, so... I'm not really used to playing on a Switch controller, which is already my downfall. Cool. Shit, I got it! Oh my god, first try. Again, I don't... I don't usually get that trick. So, whenever I do, it's actually kind of surprising. Uh, and it also makes me scared for the next video. Uh... <laughs> Because now I'll have to beat it with that in mind. Alright, so... Next up is Bear Hugger. Alright, so Bear Hugger is going to be a bit more of a casual run. I know a couple things just to get extra hits on him very quickly. But that's about it. Normally, you're not able to hit him in the stomach. Oh, I'm an idiot. Literally, as I'm about to say it. Normally, you're not able to hit him in the stomach, but when he does that, like... That's, like, the sign, essentially. Once again, there are definitely going to be a bunch of mistakes in this run. Uh... Like that. Fuck. Okay. This is definitely not a knockout. Uh, this is a really bad bear hugger fight, actually. Uh, there are definitely going to be a lot of mistakes, but I'm just going to stick with it. This was a knockout? Okay, bear hugger. Sure. Uh, there are definitely going to be a lot of mistakes in this run, uh, so please forgive me. Once again, not a speedrunner. Want to make that perfectly clear. Uh, but I will be doing my best. Uh, and then every time I have to beat my record eventually. Oh, really? No. No. Backup strat, I guess, if you want to call it that. So, Piston Hurricane has a, a thing where you can actually beat him in five seconds. Uh, where you just keep punching him in the face in the beginning, and then he does that like, uh, and then if you punch him at the right time, it'll just knock him down. And then he'll get up, you super punch him, and then he's done. But because I didn't get the timing right... Now I had to essentially just super punch the fuck out of him until he falls down. Uh, that is... He is very susceptible to super punches, and it's really funny. Oh, I forgot to split, goddammit. Oh, well. <laughs> Whatever. That's something I have to get good at, too, is splitting. I have to remember to do it. Because I'm used to just playing this game... Uh, straight through. Alright. Now I have to think about pressing a button every time I fucking get into a fight. You're gonna see me do this a lot. Uh, that's just kind of like my victory, like, go down thing. I just do it because I'm a fucking nerd. 
Like that. <laughs> uh, it's just something I like to do. It's just fun little gesture for me. Okay. All right. Fuck. What? No! <laughs> That's frustrating. There you go, bitch. Fucking asshole. <laughs> God, this is this run is not turning out that great. Uh but I will I will be improving, so hopefully that'll change. Uh I really hope so. I hope that I'm not like stuck trying to beat a time for like a fucking year at one point. So, Bob Charlie actually has one of the, uh, funniest, uh, like, knockdown, like, knockout animations to me. And I'll show you why if I get it. I hope I do. Probably not now. Yeah, no, I'm definitely not getting it. I should have super punched. Oh, well. Maybe you'll see it in, uh, subsequent runs. Yeah. There we go. Well, that's Bob Charlie. Dragon Chan. Was too fast. I remember the first time I played through this game. Oh, fuck. First time I played through this game, uh, it took me fucking months, dude, to get through it. Ah, fuck. I usually prevent him from doing that, but I was... My timing was off. Hit. And go down. Uh... <clears throat> Yeah, it took me fucking months to beat this game for the first time, and now I can just get through it, no problem. Oh, it's this. There we go. And that's that. I really wish Punch-Out! got more love uh, from Nintendo, because it's such a solid fucking game series, honestly. And there's only, like, I mean, technically there's five games, but really there's only three. No one plays the arcade games, and if they do, they're sad. <laughs> I, I play the arcade games, I'm sad. There's only one arcade I've ever been to that actually has the original Punch-Out! Arcade, and it's in New York City. Uh, shout out to Barcade. Yo, that place is fucking sick, dude. It's a bar, and it's an arcade, and every game costs literally 25 cents. Like, it's fucking so cool.
Damn, bitch. Get down. God damn it. I forgot to split again. I gotta fucking remember. Get down. Again, I have to be better about splitting. Ah! There. I fucking split. Fuck you. Fuck, man. I keep forgetting. I gotta be better about it. He always takes... He lags before uppercuts and it's really annoying. Like that. Because you just want to dodge it and then punch him, but he's just like, I'm going to wait because I'm a dick. <laughs> Bitch. Hey, get back down, bitch. <laughs> Unfortunately, Sandman, I think, is one of the few fighters in this game that can actually not be knock knocked out. So that stinks. He's going to go into full power mode in the third round, and it's going to be kind of a hassle, but we're going to we're going to power our way through. Done. Get down. Whew. Right on. Now we're in the world circuit already. has an infinite that I can exploit and I'm going to try and get it first I have to build up my super meter there we go fuck I didn't get it I'm gonna keep going for it though because it's worth it There we go. I got it that time. The super punch does a ton of fucking damage to him. Uh, but he'll try to, like, siphon your health. Now he's gonna do his hurricane rush. Whoops. Well, that just cost me time. Uh, but yeah, he takes a lot of damage from super punches. And you can prevent him from trying to siphon it. And then if you punch him in the face, you can just get him again. And then you can just keep doing that until he goes down. And for the last round, you just gotta super punch him and then he's done. That's it. That's Aaron Ryan. He's he's really easy. Uh, I could definitely do better for subsequent runs, but... That's that. Hey, Kei Gagero, here I come. Hey, hey, Kei. He could be really annoying with his fucking mirror dance. Whoops. There you go. Get him. Go. 
Go down, bitch. Go down. Oh shit, for real? Go down. That's hey okay. Next up is Mad Clown, which is my personal favorite fight in the whole game. Uh, just And that's not just because he's Italian. It's just because he's a super fun fight. He bobs, he weaves, uh, and everything in between. <laughs> Got him. I try to get him before uh, he gets to his juggling move because his juggling move takes a while and it's really annoying to dodge. So hopefully if things go well, you won't even see his juggling move. All right. Now the thing to remember is that when he gets to his third round, uh, he goes through something called showtime where he just starts really unloading. And you just gotta do the same. And he's down. Whew! That was a really good Mad Clown fight. I'm not gonna lie. I think that's the smoothest that I've ever fought Mad Clown. Ever. Yeah. Alright, Super Macho Man. All about memorization with his exercise routines. Ah, oh, man. Let's see how well this goes. That was your downfall. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So for exercise program B, you literally just don't press anything. Oops. Yeah, don't try to get up too fast, asshole. I was expecting him to do his fucking spin punch. C is just a bunch of uppercuts. And he's down. I'm surprised we didn't see the fucking multi-spin. That was surprising, honestly. Uh, usually you see the multi-spin. Where he'll go like... And then he'll spin anywhere from three to seven times, I think. I think seven is the most I've seen. Uh, and that's completely random as far as I know, so. Next up is the special circuit with Narciss. Narciss Prince is more of a gimmick fight than it is like an actual fight because you just kind of have to know how to beat him. And the key is to punch him in the face. Perfect. And punch in the face. And now he's mad. And now I can just wail on him. He's a joke. Should not even be in the special circuit. Oh, man. So now the next round starts and he goes back and you just punch him in the face and he gets mad again. And he's done. Third round. First verse. Third verse, same as the first and second.
And there we go. And he's done. <coughs> All right, so now these are the final three fights in the game. Uh, I call these focus fights because I really have to focus. So, uh... Uh, Hoy Corlo, I made a whole fucking video about this man and I can't wait to fight him. Let's focus. He has a staff that you really have to focus with. Uh, so here we go. Is that the end of him? I don't remember how many times I knocked him down. Oh, it is. Shit, nice. All right. I got Hoy Corlo down. Okay. All right. Next up is Rick Bruiser. All right. Here we go. Okay, you could probably tell why these are fucking, I call these the focus fights, because they are brutal. The end? Yes! Okay, so that was Rick. Okay. We're coming up on the final boss of Super Punch Out. Uh so yeah. Let's uh let's try and get that down. Okay. I need complete and utter silence for this, so.
was weird. Okay. Oh my god, I thought I wasn't going to win. <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god, I was so fucking stressed out for a second there. Oh my god, fuck. Whew. So that was it. That was my first ever speedrun uh, of Super Punch-Out, officially. Uh, my time was a 2730.110. 27 minutes for a Super Punch-Out? I'm going to call that pretty good. Not speedrun level, because I'm pretty sure the rec the world record is like 24 minutes. Uh, but for a starting speedrun, I can be happy with 27 and a half. All right. So that's the time to beat uh, for next time. So, <clears throat> fuck. <laughs> so that's the time to beat for the next time I play this game. Uh, thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Uh, please... Uh, bear with me when it comes to, bear with us when it comes to the quarantine month. Uh, I'm giving it all I got. I'm using this time to try out new things such as speed running and also other challenges that you'll see, uh, coming up on this channel. Uh, so I hope you guys look forward to future videos and I will see you guys next week for the second speedrun uh, session where I have to beat 2730.110. And until then, uh, I've been Bottles. Uh, if you like the video, like it, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. And hit that bell notification to see when we post our videos. <coughs> When we come back uh, from quarantine month, uh, hopefully it'll only be one month. Uh, when we come back, we will be playing games such as Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, Last Window, The Secret of Cape West, uh, and other titles. Maybe uh, maybe we'll go back to Doom Eternal. I, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll figure something out. Sims will also come back. Uh, everything will come back in due time. Uh, we just have to be patient. So, uh, question of the day, uh, what's a game that you either speed run or would like to speed run? Put that shit in the comments below on bottles and I'll see you guys in the next speed run. Bye bye Continue.